Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session of the Make It Mobile Hackathon. Um, today, we are going to go in talking with Jason and Alone, and we're going to be talking about moving your project further with Cello Camp. Uh, before we get started, I just want to let you know that this session is, as always, recorded. And if you want to rewatch it, you can always find it on our YouTube channel at Getcoin Media uh, on YouTube. And you can always drop any questions that you have in the chat or in the Q&A. We will be monitoring that as we go along. Uh, and I will always come back and also uh, repost any of the links that were talked in the in that as well. Um, with that, if you do have questions, go ahead and throw it in the Q&A, and you can always um, upvote other people's questions as well if you think that they are important um, as well. So with that, uh, drop a little hello chat. Let me know that you're here, and we shall get started. I'll go ahead and turn it over to Alone and to Jason. All right. Thank you so much, Gloria. And uh, maybe I'll share my screen. Um, and talk to you guys a little bit about Cello Camp. All right, so can you see my screen? All right, so um, my name is Alon Shavit, and I'm the program director and co founder of Upright. Upright runs virtual acceleration programs in the blockchain space. And in this talk, I'm going to go over with you um, on what is Cello Camp, the camp vibes, what are the benefits of joining Cello Camp, and how to sign up. So Cello Camp is an eight-week virtual acceleration program uh, for the Cello system. We help teams build sustainable startups on the Cello uh, protocol. And the program was created by Upright in a collabor collaboration with C-Labs. And it's a great entry point for uh, founders um, to manifest their visions on Celo and kind of like taking your hack um, into uh, the next uh, stage together with, uh, with, with Celo um, uh, in order to build uh, sustainable businesses and really um, bring your ideas uh, to life. So um, Cello Camp is a virtual experience where developers, designers, and uh, dreamers come together to build a financial system that creates the condition of prosperity for all. In the itself, you can expect to grow as an entrepreneur and uh, learn how to launch and scale your uh, project. Uh, also, you will connect with other like-minded people in the ecosystem and prosper and grow yourself as an uh, entrepreneur and uh, bringing uh, and also as, as a person that is bringing impact to the world. So uh, why joining the camp? So first of all, we have great perks uh, for you guys. And uh, we have um, uh, Amazon credits and HubSpot credits. We have an opportunity to get uh, funding, to get mentorships from the uh, great mentors that I'm going to uh, touch on. Uh, to network within our ecosystem, to get support um, uh, while you build along your project. And also we have a great uh, curriculum that we built uh, from the experience of, of doing uh, acceleration for blockchain startups in the last two years. We also have wonderful prizes. We have $10,000 first place prize, $5,000 second place prize, and five more $2,000 prizes um, for the participants in the camp, just to make it more fun. And it's all pretty free. We don't take anything. It doesn't cost anything to uh, join the program. What are the milestones of Cello Camp? So we have the pre-camp. Um, in, in this phase, uh, which takes usually a, a month, we evaluate the teams, they evaluate a Cello Camp itself, learn about the program, and we try to find um, the, the match uh, between the teams and the program itself. And then we have the application uh, deadline. This is the, uh, usually the time uh, where we uh, curate the teams and select the teams to actually go into the camp itself. Uh, we announce the finalists, and usually to Cello Camp itself, um, we take about uh, 20 teams from around the world, um, which go through the eight-week acceleration program, and then we announce the winners at the end of the camp. 
this is the uh, um, the pathway that we walk uh, together with our founders throughout the camp. We have um, the user research, the user journey itself, finding a product market fit, uh, how to get the first early adapters. Um, we have a build integrate two weeks in which we uh, help the teams build uh, their projects, and um, by the end of the program. Uh, to launch their uh, integration on top of Celo. Uh, so in the program, it's a very rich program that goes uh, together with you on all the milestone in the entrepreneurial journey. So a, topic, a typical week in Celo camp has uh, entrepreneurial uh, modules uh, that includes uh, guest speakers. We have one-on-one -on -one session with your mentors. We have check-ins. Uh, to make sure that you are um, in line with your own plan on, uh, on your achievements from uh, the camp. Uh, we have campfire chats with uh, um, leaders in the crypto space uh, that gives talks to the campers uh, about different topics uh, like security, like legal issues, uh, all the things you need to, um, to care about when you are building a Web3 project. And also we have the Prosper uh, session where we bring meditation and sound healing um, sessions to our participants to also help your own personal journey. And we know that like working on a startup is a stressful thing. So we also try to uh, make sure our um, campers develop personally through the journey and have time um, uh, to breathe a little bit and have fun also in the program. Uh, we also have great mentors from organizations like NFX, um, uh, Andreessen Horowitz, Chain, uh, Winklevoss Capital, um, that can really uh, help your project um, and tackle all the business issues that you uh, might have. Um, and I want in this opportunity to, um, to, to showcase some examples from uh, our previous batches. This is the third batch uh, that we are uh, actually doing uh, right now. And uh, it is uh, happening uh, as we speak. We are at the first week of uh, batch three. And um, so in batch two, we uh, had a team called Mula. Um, and the guy uh, that you can see on the picture is uh, uh, Patrick. And what they did is they built uh, basically um, an Ave fork uh, on a cello um, uh, to bring uh, loaning into uh, the cello ecosystem. And um, they did like an amazing job during uh, the camp itself. They had a, a, a wonderful uh, idea uh, for their project. And uh, we are very proud uh, to say that they uh, just recently uh, announced a raise uh, from a Polychain um, and Navaravikan, very respectable uh, investors um, of uh, 1.4 million dollars. So we were also very proud uh, to show early signs that the, prog the program can also help uh, entrepreneurs fund fundraise after uh, the camp itself. Um, and also another example for a, an alumni um, a team from the first batch we actually had for a cello camp is Impact Market. Impact Market is enabling any community to have its own um, UBI um, uh, for beneficiaries. And they are doing a great job all over the world um, in, in fundraising for a, um, uh, for very important uh, projects and bringing uh, uh, impact to uh, emerging uh, uh, countries and markets. And uh, you see their impressive uh, stats uh, here uh, below. And um, so also definitely um, a project to check out. And you can learn more about uh, our founders at the cellocamp.com website when you have the tab uh, Founder Stories. So you read all about uh, our graduates and, and learn more about their stories. So how can you join CelloCamp? So first step is to apply at CelloCamp.com. The next batch is, starts uh, on July. So go into the website and uh, fill in the application form just so we can stay in touch with your team and, and inform you about opportunities. Um, and uh, we will let you know when the next uh, batch uh, starts. Um, if you are accepted to uh, to the camp, your team will will have a, a we will receive a, a page where he can update all the information and start the journey 
uh, from there. So I will strongly recommend to right now go to cellocamp.com and apply for our next batch at July. Uh, all right, so with that, we are uh, uh, ending our uh, presentation. I would uh, love to take questions. All right, so I know I had a couple of questions there for you too alone. Um, so the first question I had was like, if you had to have an existing like project already in like VP stage or can you come up with like just an idea or what stage of the project should is like the best when um, going through Cello Camp? Great question, Gloria. So the camp is actually open for both scenarios. We can have a team that comes only with an idea. You know, Mula, when it uh, came into camp, only came with the idea of having um, uh, the possibility to loan on top of, of Cello and to bring it to mobile. Uh, and so, and then, and they were able to, during that short uh, period of time to really take it into a very serious project and do incredible uh, things. Uh, so this is one type of, uh, of of team. And from the other hand, you can look at a team like Impact that already came with some traction into the uh, into the camp. Uh, with uh, they were very familiar with uh, with the protocol, and uh, we managed to uh, help them during the camp itself also to work on scaling and, and, and connecting even more into the, into the community and uh, into the different engineers in our community. And so it's really open to both tracks. And I think we, we showed uh, success with both types of uh, projects. Awesome. Um, this is a question from Blythe too. And it says, um, cool, my team is really small, two people, uh, two of us. Is that okay, or just don't want to be overwhelmed with expectations of the camp right away? Thank you so much for that question. So we are uh, absolutely open for for smaller teams. Uh, also, coming back to Mula's example, their uh, team started off uh, small and now they are growing. So definitely, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Um uh, I had a question too about mindset because sometimes I think we come in with this idea like this product is going to be great. I, I know exactly what the roadmap is going to look like. And then we get advisors and we might have to pivot or things like that. So can you really talk about like best type of mindset that makes it well like through it and like how to be uh, go through the program with, uh, you know, the best mental state throughout the whole program. Another great uh, question, Gloria. So, uh, um, I can. Uh, we have an example for a team that actually came into the program and uh, during uh, user research because we put a lot of emphasis on doing user research. And during user research, they came to the conclusion: you know what, this project idea is actually not that great. You know, and uh, and maybe we need to pivot away. You know, so that's uh, like so. I totally agree that coming with an open uh, mindset and um, making sure you really validated with the market your project idea is important even for more advanced uh, project that will be surprised, you know, even about features they thought about implementing. And so I think that the open mindset is definitely um, a good uh, uh, way to come into the camp. To like build on to that, uh, I think uh, a lot of startups, because of the way the curriculum is structured, they learn a lot more about the business building process as opposed to just the, the product and the like the end roadmap. So a lot of things that they pick up along the way, just like by, by virtue of it being an open mindset, tend to be such a such a varied uh, we've seen a lot of teams like pivot and like think about like new things that come up along the way. So I think I think that open mindset I would really double down on. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and then I have still two more questions. Um, what does like the support look like? So are, do we have a lot of hands-on support or is it hands-off or is it up to like what the, the project needs or how does that look like? Sure, so first of all, you will have office hours uh, with C-Labs uh, engineers uh, and other engineers from our uh, ecosystem that can uh, really support the teams uh, in any case uh, and in, in any question. Um, you will have your own me uh, personal uh, mentor, and uh, we really are pro have very high profile mentors also uh, in the program uh, that can definitely uh, bring value to the teams that participate. Um, 
So, uh, um, so aside from the workshops, you know, that cover each step uh, in the entrepreneurial uh, journey, you have the office hours, you have also legal office hours that you can get a consultation about the uh, legal questions uh, regarding your startup. And um, so I think it's a very rich program in terms of uh, the kind of resources that you can get for your uh, startup. Uh, I had, I just thought of two more questions. So I had another question. Uh, the other question that I had was, um, you know, how does the financing aspect of work? So if I have a project and we think that it's going to launch, like, is the financing all up to me to go out to pitch to people or do you work with other companies or do we lean our, on our rent mentors that have a network? Like, how does that really work? Or do, are we, are they prepped for to, to go out there and start to get financing? Like, how does that kind of work? Yes, great question. So first of all, we have the, the prizes in the camp itself, which are, uh, um, I think, uh, like the numbers that I show are, are usually like minimal uh, uh, numbers. Also, the camp is like a fast track to grants. And we are also very proud that uh, looking back on last year uh, alumni, our alumni received more than a million dollars in grants. So, 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 so the way we look at it, like after camp, uh, one note, that a, a team can uh, go to is grants, right? Receiving grants uh, from any, uh, from the different bodies in our uh, foundation of CELO. And um, another route can be a fundraising, you know, because in our network and a lot of the mentors are also uh, investors. And if this opportunity creates uh, during camp, uh, we will be very happy to support it. Um, so these are kind of like the next two routes that the team has after the camp. And the demo days tend to be a good pedestal for visibility for some of the startups that are building and uh, yeah, like a good way to kind of get visibility to raise, like want to raise like more funding at a later point in time. Perfect. Um, yeah, so those are the questions I had. Let's see if there's any questions from the community real quick. And for the community people, if you want to go ahead and drop a question that you have in the chat, that works great for me. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any other other questions to. So one question I had, and I think you went over it too, but was it like free to join the cap? Is there any type of cost perspective that is associated with it, that might be something that is helpful for our teams to know. Yeah, so the, the opportunity is absolutely free, absolutely equity free. We don't take anything. It is just um, something we do for the community of Celo and it's very unique to the Celo community. And I can honestly say that I don't know too many acceleration programs in the blockchain space that actually has the, um, the offering uh, that we uh, bring. And uh, I, I really think it's a great opportunity, you know, for everyone who is uh, listening, and especially if you have already hacked down a, a project that you feel passionate about, we definitely want to hear from you, you know. Uh, and here's another question I have: What are the time expectations? So, will I? Is it like you know, eight hours a day, you know, every day for the eight weeks, or is it you know? Uh, can, is it self-paced throughout the time or what are the you know expectations time-wise? Yeah, so um, in terms of expectation, I would say that like in every week, uh, we have uh, around three workshops um, uh, on different, uh, the, on the different to topics that I touched on, the, the prosper, the growth, and uh, the actual uh, workshops. And each, uh, let's say each, uh, um, activity is around one hour, uh, and then there's the the, the building you are doing um, inside of your own team that really is up to you and up to what you want to take out of the program. You know, I, I don't believe in teaching birds how to fly. You know, uh, taking a quotes from uh, Nassim Taleb, uh, but everyone like like but you know usually we find the teams very much engaged. And, uh, and um, I think because they feel it gives them value. So it really depends on you, but kind of like the, the ballpark, uh, our range is about uh, four hours, let's say a week that you get counting also the mentorship uh, um, time and uh, the rest of it is really up to you. 
All right, there's a couple of questions in the chat too. Um, and this one's from Boone and it's, how many books did you pick last time? Yes, so actually our camp uh, keeps growing, you know, like because it's, it, it keeps like uh, getting harder and harder to cut uh, down uh, the teams. So I think in the first batch we like 15 teams and then we took it up to, uh, uh, to 18 and now we are uh, um, gonna have uh, between uh, 20 to 22 teams in, in this, uh, in, in batch three. You know, we always try to keep it um, very, um, we try to keep it exclusive, you know, in terms of the uh, feeling that the teams are getting, that they are getting a personal um, a service from, from us and and they really they they feel that uh, all their needs have been fulfilled uh, but we also want to be uh, inclusive in uh, you know not missing uh, uh, um, uh, too many people uh, but we also have now uh, something that is called the startup pathway it's a new program we have just launched um, that is more uh, um, uh, open uh, we are going to get to that program uh, 20 more teams and that program is meant to, so we can actually help more startups because, you know, it's like really hard for us uh, not to take a team, you know, but uh, you, you look like at the last batch, we got like 260 something applications, and then you have to pick only 20. So we actually have now the startup pathway to, uh, to expand it. So to the question, it's like around 20 teams per batch, but we also have the startup pathway that uh, has around uh, 20 to 30 more teams. I hope I answered the question. Yeah, does, um, with the, to elaborate a little bit on the solo camp startup pathway, is that running now and when does that open? Yes, so, so this is, the startup pathway runs in parallel to the camp itself. Um, and uh, it's a new program we actually uh, launched this time around to be uh, really to, so we can be, be at help to any uh, team that want to build on Celo. Um, and, uh, and it runs in parallel to the camp itself around the same dates. Um, like, unfortunately, the, the, the subscription for this uh, uh, batch has already been closed, but uh, on July, we're starting a new uh, batch. So I think for the, the, the uh, hackathon participants, um, of Make It Mobile, it's perfect time, you know, after you finish uh, your uh, your project to uh, start thinking about camp. And again, I will say, apply now uh, on cellocamp.com. Uh, now is the time to apply. And uh, so we can stay in touch with you guys, let you know about all the opportunities. Awesome. Um, it says like, uh, this one is from Asporia. And it says a uh, hackathon deadline is reaching uh, still working on the project still can bring over unfinished projects to them. So can they bring over an unfinished project to Cello camp? Of course, you know, the, uh, the entrance um, uh, prerequisites uh, to the camp uh, um, does not include having a finished uh, project. You know, you can come theoretically also with a strong team and an idea right? Um, but, you know, uh, I would say, generally speaking, you know, uh, if you have something that you, you are passionate about, and, uh, and you started, I would recommend, you know, trying to finish it just uh, um, in the sense of, um, of uh, um, executing and being able to execute something uh, all the way through, I think it sends a, a very nice signal uh, to in, in general. Um, but uh, you don't have to to have a, a, a finished uh, a project on, uh, on Celo when you join. You can finish your integration during camp uh, totally. Yeah, just to like add on the the upcoming batch that we have uh, that of, of Celo camp will actually give you enough time to to follow through and maybe even launch an MVP. So I encourage you to kind of sign up and then like you can you can potentially come up and uh, participate in the next batch of camp because this batch is already started and it's ongoing, but we, we encourage participation. Jason, with that being said, how many times does Cello Camp happen? Through We're looking at two at the moment, Alon, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, in addition with the startup pathway uh, ongoing and like other programs that we may have across the course of the board, 
we're looking to have about three to four events across the year that would uh, you know that would foster startups on Salo, which include camp and like other other events which include hackathons and the like. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like a very well supported like entrepreneurial ecosystem that's being established right now in Salo. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. Awesome. Okay, this one is from Crypto Techie, which I, I this is probably one of my favorite questions, and um, it says, "What are your thoughts on making offline Cello Camp in the future? Of course, after coronavirus, so the real real camp in the woods with fire and networking. <laughs> and I think we're all just longing to kind of commune with other people. But um, has that ever been a thought, or is it always going to be online? Yeah, that's a that's a great uh, question. Um, to be honest, uh, Upright is very uh, focused on uh, virtual, on doing online programs. Uh, we did it long before uh, uh, COVID. And for me, uh, um, as one of the founders of Upright, uh, what was so unique about it, it's like it allows people from every place in the world uh, to participate and, and being inclusive and, and not geo uh, um, dependent. But having said that, you know, sometimes there is nothing like a personal uh, connection, you know, when you meet at an event. So what we can, we, we thought about doing, like before uh, Corona, we thought about like flying the winners uh, to meet uh, with the C-Labs uh, teams uh, uh, around, uh, you know, in, in Berlin and in, in San Francisco. And, uh, you know, that's, that's like kind of my, my thought of like doing this event. So you can enjoy from the, um, the connections and the networking of like physical events, uh, but still have the main uh, camp happen on the virtual space. Yeah, I love that. And then uh, I think it's astounding the number of times that Alon has received this in the last like two weeks itself, about like going offline with camp. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's so funny because I had talked to a friend who runs, you know, offline events a lot of times in a, the emerging markets just to be test, uh, you, you know, testing with their users. And one of the things that she had said was that the difficulty of bringing people who are from other countries into other countries from these camps, and it, it just lowers the amount of people that can participate, which is nothing I'd ever like really thought of. But I do think we're all just like very eager to, to get out of the house and go somewhere, um, which is totally understandable. But maybe we'll have to do a virtual like camp and just pop a tent in your home and just enjoy some some time together, which would be good. Um, let's see if there's any other questions real quick. That was a really thorough um, explanation so far. So, so it says, is there any bridge to Ethereum network if not if it's not in its real path? And that's an interesting question too, because I think can't you build on Celo using Ethereum too, or can't you bring your project over to um, your Ethereum project over to Celo and build on it? Yeah, you can. You can very much bring uh, your, your Ethereum project to to Celo. Celo uh, is fully EVM compatible, and in addition, like a lot of what you use to code on on Ethereum is is very much uh, possible to deploy on, on Salo. And so um, uh, porting your, you know, your, your friendly deep ETH app should not be uh, too difficult. And in addition, like we have a lot of good quality community support on Discord as well at chat.salo.org. Happy to share the link as well. It would help you uh, along the way. Uh, and um, yeah, generally on the, on the topic of bridges, we have a lot of interoperability initiatives that we've been taking up internally and like more information to follow on that, on our, on our, our Discord as well as on our media and uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember if uh, there was an earlier session on that, like forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe there was an earlier session on porting your Ethereum app on the Solo network. If not, I do know that there's a lot of resources on how to do that. And it was, I'm an Ethereum developer myself, uh, and it was really easy for me to follow. Uh, and so I think that it's worth looking into if you, if you do want to do that. Yes, okay, cool. There was a session, <laughs> perfect. Uh, perfect. Well, with that, I don't see any more questions. And the best place to get more information is uh, the cellcamp.com and is the best place to reach out the chat, the Discord, the Discord chat. 
Awesome. I'm going to be dropping the Discord chat uh, in the chat right now. Yeah, I'm also dropping the info at the Upright GG um, uh, email, so you can also reach us uh, directly over there. Perfect. Let me test it. Perfect. Well, let's see if you all have any other questions, this is your last chance to drop them in the chat. Uh, if not, we will give back people time and uh, look more into researching the cell camp on our own. I think it's a really good opportunity. I really uh, encourage you all to take your projects to the next level, even if you feel like it may or not. Um, be ready. I think sometimes our imposter syndrome gets the best of us. We want to wait till things are absolutely perfect. And uh, in all reality, there's a lot of great people there to usher you throughout the way. So I think that, uh, you know, if you can apply, apply for sure. Uh, and if it's not great timing now, like put it on your roadmap and figure out how to take your project to the next level. Uh, thank you so much, Alone and Jason, for popping in and being able to tell us a little bit more about Solo Camp and how to expand our uh, our projects even further. So, with that, everyone, I'll go ahead and say bye and hope to see you in our next session. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.